Welcome to another kind of different video, a little bonus for this week, and we are going to be talking about these. Um, these are little sort of Lego cards that you can get from Sainsbury's, as you can see the logo there. And you get them for every £10 you spend, you get a pack of these, which contains four Lego themed cards, which is why we are in my town. So, go like that, you can see it a little bit better. Ooh. So I've sort of um, had a little think about these. There are 140 in the set, um, around 140, as they say on the marketing. But that means that to get all of these cards with no duplicates requires you to spend £350, because you get four cards per pack. That's a lot of money, and if you go shopping at Sainsbury's every week, you could probably... I mean, me and my partner spend... Ooh, what is it? about £45 if we go there. That's a lot of week shopping. <laughs> the problem with this is, I, I don't like this system because you're required to spend a huge amount of money before you actually complete the set. You also want to buy the card album, which I have not done. Um, yeah, I just don't really know why they exist other than for to encourage people to go to Sainsbury's and to make money and to advertise Lego, although I don't need any of that at all, because let's be honest, I'm already pretty deep down the Lego rabbit hole. So yes, let's get out of the way and open these. I've got five packs, one, two, three, four, five, so I spent just over £50, and we shall see what is contained within them. They open... Ooh. They don't open fairly nicely, I, I was... Ugh. Right, there we go. So, ooh, we have a flamenco dancer, and there's, there's some text underneath it. It's number 30, and some scissors, of course. Most people walk with this hot stepper dances through life like there's no tomorrow. We've also got the pizza delivery man, which I have. Ooh! There, there he is in real life. This guy is a piece of paper apparently, so name a person who's very boring on the internet and you'll get that joke. The pizza delivery man brings his doughy joy direct to your door and he does it by bike, jet ski, skateboard and diving suit. Our hero. I think if you're using a diving suit to deliver pizza, wouldn't the pizza get damp in there? Like, what kind of waterproof pizza bag do people have? Very strange. We also have Skeleton Guy. I've got him in my minifigure box somewhere. He's also a blank piece of paper. He's number 88. Skeleton Guy isn't a real skeleton. Just as well, those trick-or-treat sweets would go straight through him otherwise. Ah! 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 And finally, create a world. I don't really know what that's to do with. We've got a shiny. A shiny monkey. Um, create. Task. Either that's thunder or this cheeky little monkey's tumbly is rumbling. Any ideas? What would you feed the monkey? Build some tasty treats for this hungry little fellow. Ah, they've added some sort of point into the cards. So this is a rare one and the rare ones obviously have some sort of creating task involved with them. That looks like one of the sort of animal sets you give away that I've got a few of. I've got the bat, the rabbit, the chick, and the, uh, the little bear with a heart that was Valentine's Day one year. So yeah, it's basically just, you've got loads of Lego bricks that they're assuming you have because you've got these, so go and build some Lego related thing that you could feed to that monkey. Okay, let's open pack number two in maybe a slightly more dignified manner than last time. Yes, much better, although I now know what this shiny one is. I'll have to try and do that from the side next time, or from the back. The first one we have, another blank piece of paper, number 120, is a mic. What? Is that dirt on the card? Yeah, can you see that? No. Now, apparently that's not showing up on the camera, so um, I'll just 
ignore it, focus, back to manual, hooray, uh, yeah this seems to have some dirt on it, there, little green marks, I really don't know if you can see those but um, that's slightly unfortunate, anyway the mime doesn't say anything, haha <laughs> it's funny because he's a mime, moving on, we have the Disco Diva, <clears throat> pardon me, the dancing Disco Diva refuses to change her star for anyone, she's the belle of the glitter ball. Wow, that was a tortured bun. And finally, the bride. She's all dressed up for her big day. All she needs now is someone to marry. A minor detail. I don't think it is. I think she needs to get some sort of man or lady or in-betweeny type to do the other bit. Because you can't get married on your own, I'm afraid. And finally, the shiny, which I know what it is. And I've just sort of upturned the road because of the way the table's done. A tree. And the task for our tree is trees may be the most might be the most fashionable plants in the world. They've gotten one look of spring, summer, another for autumn, and a couple more for autumn and winter. What? I've read that completely wrong. They've got one look for spring, another for summer, a couple for autumn and winter. See if you can build a tree for each season. Not too bad. That's not an awful task. It's certainly better than making some sort of fruit thing for the monkey. So, packet number three. And Oh, good lord, these packs are not, like, are you expecting a child to undo these packs? You're going to be oh, deeply disappointed. Right, so we've got a gnome, okay, and oh, he's got a different, he's not a blank piece of paper. Garden gnomes are seriously patient fellows, he can stand for, still for years on end, watching the grass his, and his sweet beard grow. Alright, I like that, that's quite good. The janitor, I have a janitor, he's fallen over. He is there. There's the janitor. I don't know why he's over there, he just is. Spilt your drink again? Fear not, the janitor is here to save the day and mop up the mess in no time. Okay, and the mermaid. I have a mermaid in my minifigure box. The mermaid's biggest wish is to set foot on land one day, but some fin tells us she might... <sighs> tells us that it might be a bit tricky. And finally, the little creator thing is a robot. Okay, I just knocked the camera. Lily is always building machines and devices in her den. This robot was intended to serve hot chocolate in, in cold. Now, can you build a, a robot for your adventures? I do have one somewhere, but I don't know where it is currently. So, maybe. Pack number four now. We have two left to go. I'm not going to reveal. The great! There we go, jeez. What kind of fucking Hercules kids are these, are these packets designed for? The first one we have is Grandpa. Grandpa prefers everything the way it was when he was young and tells you every time he gets the chance. Oh, he's a little old racist granddad. That's particularly normal. The rock star who I have in the way of the light over here. There's my little rock star man. Make some noise! This rock solid rock star uses the strongest hair gel ever and he's here to blow your speakers. Yeah! We also have the gingerbread man, so we've gone into Shrek. He didn't have a. What? He didn't have a cup when you got him in the bloody minifigures. That's unacceptable. Look at that big smiley face. Gingerbread man's the sweetest guy in town, literally. Ah ah! And finally, the little creator card. We have a koala this time, okay. This cool creature can't bear being called a bear. A koala is just a koala, that's it. These no snoozy marsupials are native to Australia, just like the kangaroo. Can you build this koala a bouncing kangaroo, buddy? No, I cannot. And finally, pack number five. We have... Ooh, Sam. Ooh, someone has a name, okay. He's number two. Sam enjoys travelling and seeing the world, but he'd much rather sit on a comfy chair and read about it in a book instead. I agree, most of the time. Hollywood Starlet, so it's basically Marilyn Monroe. The Hollywood Starlet has played so many roles that she's completely forgotten who she really is. Oh, that means it is Marilyn Monroe. That's not a very topical reference at all. Baseball player. Team spirit is more important than winning for the baseball player, but his collection of hot dogs is even more important than that. 
collection of hot dogs. Like, they sell hot dogs at baseball games, so that's a very tenuous connection at best. And finally, the creator card, which is an Asian house. Ooh, okay. Task. Many wonderful Asian houses are wonderfully... Ooh. I need to learn to read. Many Asian houses are wonderfully colourful and ornate. Take your red, blue and green yellow bricks to build your own beautiful Asian house. Do you know, I might actually do that one. That sounds like a good idea. Well, I may only make a front facade and attach it to something, but... That's, a, that's not a bad idea. Well done, Lego. You've actually come up with some decent tasks. So yes, a certain amount of rubbish later, and that is the end of those packets. Um, if you happen to do your shopping at Sainsbury's already, and you collect Lego, or your child collects Lego, perfect. This is just right for you. Go and get them, because, you know, they've got the odd good task on them, and they're sort of little fun collector's cards. However, I would not go out the way, out of your way to get them. If you do your shopping at Asda or any other regional supermarket that is not Sainsbury's, I wouldn't necessarily say it's worth going to a different thing that may be more expensive just to get some cards for your children or your little brats or whatever you want to call them today. Little cunts. So yeah, I don't know if I have anything else to say about them really. Um, they're fine. I might build that Asian house don't want to build a kangaroo. I could do trees of all seasons, that'd be quite good, and I certainly don't want to make a bit of fruit because I've got a giant pumpkin somewhere that belongs with a bat. Well, I found my robot, there he is. He came in a little sort of creator kit, like a tiny one, and he has like a big thing that he sits in, or that he was in, like a little ball that had Lego top and bottom. It's very, very strange. Uh, yeah, there's the robot. He's got a uh, little, oh, He's... ah, oh, I attached him. Uh, yeah, he's got little fold-out arms like that, and a little ooh, shooty bang bang laser there. There's the pumpkin that I found that was going with the bat, all in the same drawer. There is a spring tree that happens to be in my town park that's just here, that back. And there is a summerish tree, it looks more like a palm tree type thing, I thought that's quite summery. That also lives in the park, like that. There's an autumn tree which came with a Scooby-Doo mystery machine set. That tree also happens to have a toy plane trapped in it. I, I can't get it out, so just... We'll live with the fact that that's there. I'd say you probably wouldn't want to get that out after you'd flown it into that tree there and it's just going... Rrr! I wouldn't want to do that. And finally the winter tree, a Christmas tree that came with one of the advent calendar sets. So there we go. I've done most of the tasks apart from the Asian house and the um, the koala kangaroo task. I'm not doing that one, but I might make an Asian house at some point. Hope you all enjoyed watching this little bonus video and I will be back with the standard gaming content as normal on the normal days. Um, if you'd enjoyed this video and you'd like more of this kind of thing, please let me know and give it a like and maybe a subscribe if you feel like it too if you're interested in any of my other content. So thanks very much for watching and I will see you next time for some more stuff.